I have just arrived at a place called Danbury in Connecticut. Yeah, a little far away from home, about 330 kilometers from Philly. I have some free time. Let's see how we can best put to use that free time. After some very picturesque roads, undulating landscape and sharp twisties, yes, for the first time I'm on real twisties in America, on the East Coast, you already know where I am from the thumbnail, of course. Let's go inside and have a look. Actually, no, I come here to work. I'm, I shoot weddings. So um, I'll be staying at the, uh, at the Wyndham over here. Uh, you know that, right? Yeah. So I, I just, I was just looking at each time I go someplace, I look for a roaster, and I found this place. I saw some good reviews, came in, and I talked to you, and I realized that I just might want to pick up. A... <laughs> so, so, folks, uh, I'm inside Reading right now, and I'm going to taste one of the coffees that they have uh, poured out for me to taste. It's um, Mexican Chiapas, low acidity, sweet and balanced. They primarily do wholesaling and the numbers are absolutely mind-boggling actually and there's a small outlet for people who won't want to uh, buy a bag. I got a bag of natural process, the Bali Blue Moon it's called. Let's see what this tastes like. Keep following. And I also got a bag of um, washed Tanzanian pea berry. Both are whole beans. Do keep following because I will, like in the previous video when I did for Georgia's coffee roast test, I will be roasting them. I will be making coffees out of these on the V60 and I'll share how the two coffees taste. Such a wonderful experience to go to a roaster at a new place uh, such a pleasurable experience talking to stranger at a coffee roaster with the roasters themselves discussing everything on the planet from coffee roasting to uh, to un, uh, unscrupulous business practices by multi-billionaires of the planet do keep following us because i will be pretty soon roasting these two bags of coffee that i just got that i just showed you and i will be sharing with you and uh, letting you know what it tastes like. When was the last time you bought specialty coffee from a coffee roaster? Do leave your comments in the comment section down below and I'll definitely see you in the next one.